Okay, we're ready to finish our projects. So here we have the second project is the Cup Cozy for Home. So what I'm going to do, here I just, that was my button, my button. You don't need buttons. I'm going to show you how to do it without buttons. So I measured my, where's my measuring tape? Here it is. So I just measured my cup and then I decided, where is it? I decided that, you know, do I want it really stretchy or do I want it really tight? And I measured my cup. I, I know what my, uh, like my tension is like, if I'm a tight knitter or not. And then I just knit the same thing, the nice long strip. Let's see. Yep, that's good. I just knit my tri my rectangle just like I did with my to-go cup cozy. And I've got the amount of uh, rows that I want. Now here's the tip. Here's the, the, the a good tip is I want, I always like to use my tails when I know that I have a project that I'm going to be using the tail to tie up things or to, to weave in. I don't like to add, like I, instead of having a tiny little tail and then putting an extra knot in, that's not necessary. I do like my knots, but if it's not necessary, then it's not necessary. So I'm going, I know that what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to tie, like use this bit to tie the uh, cup cozy together. So I want to have, I want to end up with my working yarn where I'm going to cut that off. I want that to be on the bottom so that I can use, I can use one at the top and one at the bottom. So when I come to the point where I've just finished an odd number row, because I know it's an odd number because I'm knitting, I knit towards the the, the tail that I started with. Now I'm going to cast off so that I have a tail on the opposite side. So to cast off, I'm going to knit, knit, and then take the back over the front. I've only got one left. Now I knit, take the back over the front. Very careful. Now let's have, oh no, they all fell off. What am I going to do? Just really careful, really carefully put it back on. So, and that came right out, I can tell. So, I'm going to have to knit that again. There we go. And then pull that off. And then by binding off or casting off this way, I have my tail in the opposite corner, kind of, what do they call that, kitty corner? And then I can either weave in the ends and put on a bead or or some broken costume jewelry that I want to keep. I guess I should disclaim or don't leave children alone with things like that because they might swallow it. Boom! Done! Okay. So now I'm going to cut off enough that I can work with. And when you've got that very last hoop it doesn't matter what side, you just thread through and pull. So it's stretchy there and stretchy there. Let's get the cup. You can have a bigger cup than this, that's fine. Okay, so you can look and see what side you like best. They're both the same stitch, but you can decide what's what you want. So here is I want to connect there and connect there. So I can do that by uh, like I said, like sewing on something, or I can just sew in the ends. Okay, now here, there's a knot. So I'm going to make this the inside. So you can use a crochet needle. That's good enough. You can just hook things in and tie some knots, or a darning needle. So here I go. You can make so many different sizes of these. And then I'm just going to, again, we're instinct. This bump right here, that stitch there, I think I'm going to go through there. And you don't need too many of them. And then I'm going to go in again. And you can tie a knot, so I'm going to go inside out, so this is my wrong side. 
and so I've got my wrong side here. Now I'm just going to go between the plies. So remember this is three ply yarn. I'm just going to go between the plies and I'm going away from the edge so that when I do tie up a knot it's uh, not very oops I went through that same thing okay so when I tie up the knot you can't see it's on the wrong side so I'm going to let that just hang there and now I'm going to take the other end and just thread that on and same thing and again here if you like if you find that there's you know a hole that you can't live with like that that's not a drop stitch or anything that's just just how it, it um, how it knit up type of thing you can cover it by doing like just sewing where it's but that's because this is the wrong side if you sew like this and you turn it over it disappears but I could live with stuff like that for a cup cozy instinctively we are going to just pop in wherever we think it needs to go this is the wrong side so this is fine and then I'm just going to secure it again by coming back on it and then again we don't need don't need too many because it just gets really bulky unless that's what you're going for and that's fine and here and then I'm going to weave in the ends far from the edge I'm just coming through the plies we're doing this instinctively remember that because I find what happens is you, you know you'll read a a pattern and we'll say okay do this and then sew together and you're thinking well what do I sew like do I sew bumps or do I sew just do I sew with thread do I sew with what I've got so here now I've come right to the I'm pulling it so I know that it's not too um, it's not going to be too tight and now I'm just going to it's far from my opening so you're not going to see the knot and when I do my first couple of knots they're very loose and then I could start pulling a little tighter there pull a little tighter you can even continue to weave in and stuff like that but I'm just going to do that cut off the ends turn it right side out and there you go and then this will go over I can just pop my cup in there we go and that's nice Ooh, get a nice cup of tea or hot chocolate and you won't burn your fingers isn't that cute I really love this can you imagine and do all sorts of different colors and things like that and be really nice and then like add embellishments you can add all sorts of things make it make it all your own Okay, last projects coming up.